Time RC. We're at our new, I think, well, it might be our new fly spot. Mason's gonna show you guys this huge field. It's like a football field and a baseball field, so it's it's huge and it's not too far from where we live. Um, we decided to come down here today because I think that our flying spot that we've had for the last year, almost year and a half, um, is gonna be going away soon. We're gonna continue to fly there when we can, but um, this might be our new fly spot. We're gonna fly around and hopefully we don't have any trouble hopefully nobody has any trouble with us flying here i don't think anyone else flies here um but it's a huge open field and um there's nobody else out here it's just us uh, so we're going to try to take advantage while we can um today we have the pusher um i, I have it on three cell we're going to chuck it up and just fly around and have a little fun and then if all goes well we're going to throw in a four cell and see how fast we can get this thing go with a six by four prop. And that's not a super fast prop, but on four cell, it should go pretty good. We know that with this prop, we get around 75 miles an hour on three cell, which is more than fast enough to be fun. So we're going to get this thing up in the air and just have a little fun. Here we go. <sighs> We have a ton of room here. Um, it's basically two football fields. We have a lot of room and uh, now I forgot how good this thing flies. Oh yeah, we have tons of room here to fly. So I'm pretty stoked about this spot. I'm hoping that it works out. We do have some trees that are a little close, but we have the same thing going on at the other fly spot. Thing flies so good. Such a good little plane. We have quite a bit of room here, the, and we have some grass to land in too. So, with some of our other planes uh, that have kind of hard landings in the gravel, this will be nice because we'll have some some grass to land in. So it'll make some smoother landings and also our planes will slow down a little quicker. I love how this thing takes so little throttle to fly. That is really good. <laughs> Hey, do you think you could fly through that? I'm not going to try yet. I don't want to break the pusher on the first flight in our new flight area. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. It would be. Maybe, maybe later I'll practice. Right now we're just going to try to have some fun and not break anything. That was cool. We're start, I'm starting to feel a little sprinkle in rain, so we may only be here for this flight. Yeah, we're starting to get a little sprinkle in that thing. thing's doing so good. I think I need to maybe recalibrate the safe though, because I could tell this thing is trying to go nose up a little bit. Maybe just 
need to do some trim. I like how it's all open and flat. Oh, what the? Oh, the battery oh, came loose. See dang. that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so our rubber band broke. Oh, wait, no, our rubber band moved. It slipped. Oh, man. <laughs> that was awesome. I was able to save it, though. Look at that. We got a little crazy doing tricks, and our He's rubber band scary. came loose. <laughs> Buddy, that was that was cool. I totally saved it though. Got some <laughs> dirt on the feller blade. I think we're gonna need more rubber oh, bands. Oh man, we might need another rubber band. <laughs> that was awesome. Jeez, we that was off... scary. It like twirled. Uh, yeah, it, it went a little crazy, but we we kept it under control. I think um, it's funny that that happened because uh, when we were doing tricks uh, on one of the other videos we did a week or two ago. Um, it was spinning and flipping, and, and when I came back down, all I could think about is, man, we're lucky that battery didn't fly out, because you can see the battery just kind of sits up here, up, and it's sort of snug, but not super snug. <laughs> it really, it's just a rubber van holding it in. So, um, yeah, that was yeah. crazy. Let's get it back up in the air. Yeah.